A problem with Albuquerque sidewalks has people watching their steps. So what's the city doing about it? News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live on Eubank near Spain with a look. Madeline. Well, Aaron, this is the problem. Buckled sidewalks. Some of them you'd barely notice walking over, but others like this one are eight inches high. Peaking up not quite as high as Sandia Crest, there are a few bumps in Albuquerque's sidewalks. I've tripped many times on sidewalks like that. Along Eubank, Academy, Wyoming, some hidden in neighborhoods. Throughout the whole city, just They're everywhere. everywhere. Buckled sidewalks and medians creating obstacles for pedestrians. If you're not aware that it's there, I would say people should definitely be careful. The city of Albuquerque says it's aware that these exist and it's working to fix them one at a time. Some of the issues could be as if the concrete is expanding and then sometimes it's playing uh, tree roots and so forth that are causing damage. I think there's a trade off between the big shade trees and the sidewalk. But the burden of mending a buckled sidewalk could be on you. Within residential areas, the sidewalk ordinance typically makes a responsibility of the homeowner. And it could cost a pretty penny. On the low end, you're probably maybe looking at maybe $1,000. On the high end, it could get up to five or 6000 That number depends on location, width of the sidewalk, and factors like landscaping or irrigation issues. And if you don't fix it, a lien could be placed on your property. For the most part, we've had really good compliance with people actually fixing the sidewalks. But the ones on city property might not be fixed overnight. Something residents say concerns them. If someone were to fall, they could get hit by a car, and it's just not safe. Now, if you see one of these buckled sidewalks, the city encourages you to report it by calling 311 and be very specific about its location and why it needs to be tended to. Aaron, back to you. All right, thank you, Madeline, for that live report. When city crews cannot keep up with all of the work, the city calls in contractors to help out.